Jean Baptiste Laurent d'Alembert, French, Baptiste L. Dal B., the 16th of November 1717 to the 29th of October 1783, was a French mathematician, mechanician, physicist, philosopher, and music theorist. Until 1759, he was co-editor with Denis Diderot of the Encyclopédie. D'Alembert's formula for obtaining solutions to the wave equation is named after him. The wave equation is sometimes referred to as D'Alembert's equation. Early years Born in Paris, d'Alembert was the natural son of the writer Claudine Guérin de Tencin and the chevalier Louis Camus Destouches, an artillery officer. Destouches was abroad at the time of d'Alembert's birth. Days after birth his mother left him on the steps of the saint jean la Ronde de Paris church. According to custom, he was named after the patron saint of the church. D'Alembert was placed in an orphanage for foundling children, but his father found him and placed him with the wife of a glazier, Madame Rousseau, with whom he lived for nearly fifty years. She gave him little encouragement. When he told her of some discovery he had made or something he had written she generally replied, You will never be anything but a philosopher, and what is that but an ass who plagues himself all his life, that he may be talked about after he is dead. Destouches secretly paid for the education of Jean Laurent, but did not want his paternity officially recognized. <inaudible> <inaudible> Studies in adult life D'Alembert first attended a private school. The Chevalier Destouches left D'Alembert an annuity of 1,200 livres on his death in 1726. Under the influence of the Destouches family, at the age of 12 d'Alembert entered the Jansenist College des Quatre Nations the institution was also known under the name «College Mazarin». Here he studied philosophy, law, and the arts, graduating as baccalaureate and arts in 1735. In his later life, d'Alembert scorned the Cartesian principles he had been taught by the Jansenists – physical promotion, innate ideas and the vortices. The Jansenists steered d'Alembert toward an ecclesiastical career, attempting to deter him from pursuits such as poetry and mathematics. Theology was, however, rather unsubstantial fodder for d'Alembert. He entered law school for two years, and was nominated avocat in 1738. He was also interested in medicine and mathematics. Jean was first registered under the name d'Alembert, but later changed it to d'Alembert. The name D'Alembert was proposed by Frederick the Great of Prussia for a suspected but non-existent moon of Venus. Topic: <laughs> Career. In July 1739, he made his first contribution to the field of mathematics, pointing out the errors he had detected in Analyse de Montre, published 1708 by Charles René Reynaud in a communication addressed to the Académie des Sciences. At the time l'analyse de Montre was a standard work, which d'Alembert himself had used to study the foundations of mathematics. d'Alembert was also a Latin scholar of some note and worked in the latter part of his life on a superb translation of Tacitus, for which he received wide praise including that of Denis Diderot. In 1740, he submitted his second scientific work from the field of fluid mechanics Memoir sur la refraction des corps solides, which was recognized by Clairaut. In this work d'Alembert theoretically explained refraction. In 1741, after several failed attempts, d'Alembert was elected into the Académie des Sciences. He was later elected to the Berlin Academy in 1746 and a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1748. In 1743, he published his most famous work, Traité de Dynamique, in which he developed his own laws of motion. When the Encyclopédie was organized in the late 1740s, d'Alembert was engaged as co-editor for mathematics and science with Diderot, and served until a series of crises temporarily interrupted the publication in 1757. He authored over a thousand articles for it, including the famous preliminary discourse. D'Alembert abandoned the foundation of materialism when he doubted whether there exists outside us anything corresponding to what we suppose we see. In this way, d'Alembert agreed with the idealist Berkeley and anticipated the transcendental idealism of Kant. In 1752, he wrote about what is now called d'Alembert's paradox that the drag on a body immersed in an inviscid, incompressible fluid is zero. 
In 1754, D'Alembert was elected a member of the Académie des Sciences, of which he became permanent secretary on the 9th of April 1772. In 1757, an article by D'Alembert in the seventh volume of the Encyclopedia suggested that the Geneva clergyman had moved from Calvinism to pure Socinianism, basing this on information provided by Voltaire. The pastors of Geneva were indignant and appointed a committee to answer these charges. Under pressure from Jacob Vernes, Jean-Jacques Rousseau and others, D'Alembert eventually made the excuse that he considered anyone who did not accept the Church of Rome to be a Socinianist, and that was all he meant, and he abstained from further work on the encyclopedia following his response to the critique. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1781. Topic. Music theories D'Alembert's first exposure to music theory was in 1749 when he was called upon to review a memoir submitted to the Académie by Jean-Philippe Rameau. This article, written in conjunction with Diderot, would later form the basis of Rameau's 1750 treatise Demonstration du Principe de l'Harmonie. D'Alembert wrote a glowing review praising the author's deductive character as an ideal scientific model. He saw in Rameau's music theories support for his own scientific ideas, a fully systematic method with a strongly deductive synthetic structure. Two years later, in 1752, D'Alembert attempted a fully comprehensive survey of Rameau's works in his Elements de musique théorique et pratique suivant les principes de M. Rameau. Emphasizing Rameau's main claim that music was a mathematical science that had a single principle from which could be deduced all the elements and rules of musical practice as well as the explicit Cartesian methodology employed, D'Alembert helped to popularize the work of the composer and advertise his own theories. He claims to have clarified, developed, and simplified the principles of Rameau, arguing that the single idea of the corps sonore was not sufficient to derive the entirety of music. D'Alembert instead claimed that three principles would be necessary to generate the major musical mode, the minor mode, and the identity of octaves. Because he was not a musician, however, D'Alembert misconstrued the finer points of Rameau's thinking, changing and removing concepts that would not fit neatly into his understanding of music. Although initially grateful, Rameau eventually turned on D'Alembert while voicing his increasing dissatisfaction with J.J. Rousseau's encyclopédie articles on music. This led to a series of bitter exchanges between the men and contributed to the end of D'Alembert and Rameau's friendship. A long preliminary discourse D'Alembert wrote for the 1762 edition of his Elements attempted to summarize the dispute and act as a final rebuttal. D'Alembert also discussed various aspects of the state of music in his celebrated Discours Preliminaire of Diderot's Encyclopédie. D'Alembert claims that, compared to the other arts, music which speaks simultaneously to the imagination and the senses, has not been able to represent or imitate as much of reality because of the lack of sufficient inventiveness and resourcefulness of those who cultivate it. He wanted musical expression to deal with all physical sensations rather than merely the passions alone. D'Alembert believed that modern Baroque music had only achieved perfection in his age, as there existed no classical Greek models to study and imitate. He claimed that Time destroyed all models which the ancients may have left us in this genre. He praises Rameau as that manly, courageous, and fruitful genius who picked up the slack left by Jean Baptiste Lully in the French musical arts. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. D'Alembert was a participant in several Parisian salons, particularly those of Marie Thérèse Rodet at Geoffrin, of the Marquise du Defend and of Julie de Lespinas. D'Alembert became infatuated with Mlle de Lespinas, and eventually took up residence with her. <laughs> Death He suffered bad health for many years and his death was as the result of a urinary bladder illness. As a known unbeliever, D'Alembert was buried in a common unmarked grave. Topic. Legacy In France, the fundamental theorem of algebra is known as the D'Alembert-Gauss theorem, as an error in D'Alembert's proof was caught by Gauss. He also created his ratio test, a test to see if a series converges. 
The D'Alembert operator, which first arose in D'Alembert's analysis of vibrating strings, plays an important role in modern theoretical physics. While he made great strides in mathematics and physics, D'Alembert is also famously known for incorrectly arguing in Croy o Pyle that the probability of a coin landing heads increased for every time that it came up tails. In gambling, the strategy of decreasing one's bet the more one wins and increasing one's bet the more one loses is therefore called the D'Alembert system, a type of martingale. In South Australia, a small inshore island in southwestern Spencer Gulf was named Ile d'Alembert by the French explorer, Nicolas Baudin during his expedition to New Holland. The island is better known by the alternative English name of Lipson Island. The island is a conservation park and seabird rookery. Topic. Fictional portrayal Diderot portrayed D'Alembert in Le Rêve de D'Alembert, D'Alembert's Dream, written after the two men had become estranged. It depicts D'Alembert ill in bed, conducting a debate on materialist philosophy in his sleep. D'Alembert's Principle, a novel by Andrew Crummy, takes its title from D'Alembert's Principle in Physics. Its first part describes D'Alembert's life and his infatuation with Julie de Lespinasse. Topic list of works D'Alembert, Jean La Ronde Traité de Dynamique 2nd ed. Gabay 1990 reprint. D'Alembert, Jean La Ronde 1747a. Recherches sur le corbe qui forme une corde tendu mise en vibration Researches on the curve that a tense cord forms when set into vibration. Histoire de l'Académie royale des sciences et belles lettres de Berlin, 3. pp. 214-219. D'Alembert, Jean La Ronde 1747b. Suite des recherches sur la corbe qui forme une corde tendu mise en vibration Further researches on the curve that a tense cord forms when set into vibration. Histoire de l'Académie royale des sciences et belles lettres de Berlin, 3 pp. 220-249. D'Alembert, Jean La Ronde Edition au mémoire sur la corbe qui forme une corde tendu mise en vibration. Histoire de l'Académie royale des sciences et belles lettres de Berlin, 6. pp. 355-60. D'Alembert, Jean La Ronde Preliminary Discourse to the Encyclopedia of Diderot. Translated by Schwab, Richard N., Rex, Walter E. University of Chicago Press. Memoir sur le calcul intégral 1739, Prima opera publicata traité de l'équilibre et du mouvement des fluides 1744, Reflections sur la cause générale des vents 1746, Recherches sur les cordes vibrantes 1747, Recherches sur la précession des equinoxes, et sur la mutation de l'axe de la terre, dans le système newtonien. A Paris, Jean-Baptiste Coignard, 1749. Elements de musique, théorique et pratique. Lyon, Jombert, Charles Antoine, Bruisset, Jean Marie, 1, 1759. Essai d'une nouvelle théorie de la résistance des fluides, 1752. Essai sur les elements de philosophie, 1759. Éloges les dans les séances publiques de l'Académie française, 1779. Opuscules mathématiques, 8 tomes 1761 to 1780. Irves completes, editions CNRS, 2002. ISBN 2-271-06013-3 Encyclopédie au Dictionnaire raisonné des sciences, des arts et des métiers, Flammarion, 1993. ISBN 2-08-070426-5 Nouvelles expériences sur la résistance des fluides, Parham. D'Alembert, and Labbé Bosset. A Paris, Rue Dauphine, Chez Claude Antoine Jombert, Fils Aine, Libraire du Roy pour le génie et l'artillerie, 1777. Melanges de Literature, de Philosophie et de Histoire. London, printed for C. Henderson, and sold by T. Beckett and P. A. de Haunt, in The Strand, 1764. Topic see also List of liberal theorists List of things named after Jean d'Alembert Topic Notes Topic References Bernard, Jonathan W. 1980. The Principle and the Elements, Rameau's Controversy with d'Alembert. Journal of Music Theory, 24 1, 37-62. Briggs, J. Morton 1970. Jean Le Ronde d'Alembert. Dictionary of Scientific Biography, 1. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. 
pp. 110–117. ISBN 0-684-10114-9. Christensen, Thomas Music Theory as Scientific Propaganda, The Case of D'Alembert's Ailements de Musique. Journal of the History of Ideas. 53, 409-27. Crapel, Pierre Traité de Dynamique. In Grattan Guinness, I Landmark Writings in Western Mathematics. Elsevier. pp. 159-67, Ellsbury, Christy Beverly Elements de musique théorique et pratique suivant les principles de M. Rameau, an annotated new translation and a comparison to Rameau's theoretical writings PhD dissertation. Florida State University. Force, James E., Popkin, Richard Henry 1990. Essays on the Context, Nature, and Influence of Isaac Newton's Theology. Springer. ISBN 9780792305381. Kaplan, Michael 1963. Jean D'Alembert. Oxford University Press. Hall, Evelyn Beatrice The Friends of Voltaire, Smith, Elder & Co. Hankins, Thomas L. Jean D'Alembert, Science and the Enlightenment. New York, Gordon and Breach. ISBN 978-2-88124-399-8. Horowitz, Irving Lewis Behemoth, Main Currents in the History and Theory of Political Sociology. Transaction Publishers. ISBN 9781412817929. Israel, Jonathan 2011. Democratic Enlightenment, Philosophy, Revolution, and Human Rights 1750–1790. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-954820-0. Smith Richardson, Nathaniel 1858. Voltaire and Geneva. The Church Review. G. B. Bassett, 10-1-14. Topic external links Works by or about Jean Laurent D'Alembert at Internet Archive Works by Jean Laurent D'Alembert at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks D'Alembert's Accusation of Euler's Plagiarism at Convergence English Translation of Part of the Encyclopédie of Diderot and D'Alembert An Account of the Destruction of the Jesuits in France by Jean Laurent D'Alembert Select Eulogies of the Members of the French Academy, with Notes by Jean Laurent D'Alembert Correspondence with Frederick the Great Jean D'Alembert Irves completes Gallica Math the ARTFL Encyclopédie, a project at the University of Chicago articles in French, scans of 18th-century print copies provided O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F., Jean Le Ronde D'Alembert, MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews the Encyclopedia of Diderot and D'Alembert Collaborative Translation Project, product of the Scholarly Publishing Office of the University of Michigan Library an effort to translate the Encyclopedia into English The Encyclopedia, BBC Radio 4 discussion with Judith Hawley, Caroline Warman and David Wooten in Our Time, October. 26, 2006